Hmm. The Evil Dead franchise, huh? Don't worry, my friend. I've got just what you need. Greetings, my dear viewers. It is I, Drehon, and welcome back to another Dungeons & Dragons character conversion. Today we are taking a look at a viewer request from Otego, Peru. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, anyway, we are taking a look at Ash Williams from the Evil Dead franchise. Uh, another character I don't have any experience with. But it's from the horror franchise, and he is the protagonist. And I've actually been meaning to do a couple of protagonists from horror movie franchises uh, later on down the line. But uh, might as well get ahead of the game and do this one, because it's pretty good. So let's go ahead and start things off with stats. We go by the point by system on this channel. We'll start off with Strength at 12, Dexterity is a 15, Constitution and Wisdom will be our lowest stats at 9, Intelligence at 14, and Charisma at 13. For Race, we are going with Human Variant. This will give us a plus 1 to Constitution and plus 1 to Wisdom. We'll grab a skill, we'll grab survival, and we'll grab a feat. The resilient feat, most importantly dexterity, is going to be the one we need. This will give us a plus one to our dexterity, as well as giving us proficiency in dexterity saving throws, which is important. For languages, grab common and dwarvish. For background, grab Haunted One. You'll get your skills in Investigation and Religion, as well as a proficiency in a language of choice. We're going to grab Abyssal. This is for the Necronomicon. For your feature, you're going to go with Trauma Survivor. You're a protagonist of a horror movie franchise. You're going to need it. And it's actually a little bit better than The Heart of Darkness, so, yeah, that's why we're going with this instead of the original feature. For our class, we're going to start things off with a Fighter, a D10, if I start you off. And for your skills, grab Intimidation and Acrobatics. For your fighting style, grab Close Quarters Shooter. You also have the feature Second Wind. Level 2 fighters get Action Surge. This is my boomstick! And now we're getting on to the reason for the gun. The martial archetype for level 3 fighters. We actually have two different martial archetypes we're going to go over. Whichever one you feel is the most fitting for your character, you can choose. And... Also, whichever one your Dungeon Master will allow. The first one we'll go over is the martial archetype known as the Renegade. This will give you proficiencies in deception and persuasion. You'll get your gunfighter form, go with Sniper. For your weapon of choice, this will give you firearm upgrades. Grab collateral damage and barrage. Collateral damage will let you deal more damage to whatever is beside the original target, the creature that is hit by the attack. And barrage makes your attack a 15 foot cone and anybody in that area must make a saving throw or take a certain amount of damage. Paired with collateral damage, that's actually a wide area of targets getting hit. So, pretty good start. But, let's go ahead and take a look at the other archetype. The Gunslinger. This will give you proficiency in firearms and tinker's tools. You get the Gunsmith ability, which allows you to... <clears throat> 
repair or even build your own firearms. We also get firearm properties, which just uh, changes the rulings on firearms. Uh, nothing too special on there. What's important is the Adept Marksman. This will get you your trick shots, grab a piercing shot and violent shot. And your trick shot save DC is using dexterity modifier, while for the last one it was using charisma. Moving on to a level 4 fighter, go ahead and increase intelligence and charisma each by 1. Level 5 fighters get extra attack. Level 6 fighters get a feat or an ability score improvement. Go with the feat, most importantly the observant feat. When you grab this feat, go ahead and increase your intelligence by 1, making it a 16. Why such a high intelligence? Well, that is because we are multi-classing into Altificer. And I'll explain why here in a moment. We'll get a D8 hit die, proficiency in thieves tools, and you will get a spell casting using your intelligence modifier. Level 2 artificers get infuse item, and level 3 artificers will have an artificer specialist. Grab the new master maker from Dread Metral, which this thing's pretty cool. This is basically Cyborg the class. This is more of Cyborg than the armorer is. And that is because of the ability Processix Expertise and Battle Fist. This actually explains your Chainsaw Hand and your Robotic Hand in the later movies. Uh, the Chainsaw Hand from Prosthetic Expertise is where you touch a non-magical item and it becomes a prosthetic for you that can replace a missing limb such as a hand, arm, leg, whatever. <coughs> your battle fist is the upgraded version of this. You can make your own robotic hand that will replace the prosthetic and it can deal extra damage. Which is great. You're basically part monk using the battle fist. You also get proficiencies in heavy armor and smith's tools. I think it is the second movie, uh, according to my research, where he makes this prosthetic hand the topmost picture. And that is why I'm doing Artificer, that is because of the chainsaw hand and the a robot hand, or that's artificer. And to go ahead and end this video off with level 4 artificer, that will be a dexterity increase of 2, making it 18. And that's actually what I'm going to end it for today, my dear viewers. I would have gone to level 20, but I wasn't sure what else to do. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I do apologize if I'm a little quiet, uh, I'm still on vacation, uh, we should be back uh, by Tuesday, so yeah, which is going to be after this video is posted, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed, if you want to see a certain character, much like this one. Leave your suggestion in the comment section down below. Until next time, this has been Trehan, and I am offline.